I recently made a video about the Deepcool RGB converter, which is a very practical device but often out of stock. However, this easy DIY converter promises to do essentially the same. These practical little devices basically let you connect addressable RGB components to motherboards that only support the old analog RGB header. And those motherboards are still very common these days. ARGB components on the other hand are widely spread as well, they for instance are often bundled with AIOs. Therefore, many people find themselves unable to connect their shiny ARGB hardware to their motherboards. Unsurprisingly, there is a high demand for RGB converter devices and a consequence, the Deepcool device is out of stock on a regular basis. Fortunately, there is the Easy DIY Fab Converter which promises to do basically the same thing. Ironically, the Easy DIY isn't always in stock either. But still, having two options basically doubles the chance of getting one of these devices. So let's give it a look and compare it to the Deepcool offering. The key feature of the EasyDIY is taking a non-addressable RGB signal from the motherboard and converting it to an addressable RGB signal. This is exactly what the Deepcool Converter does as well. Now, addressable and non-addressable RGB are often referred to with many different names, so you could also say the devices convert from analog RGB to digital RGB, 12V GRB to 5V ARGB, 12V RGB to 5V at RGB, or 4-pin to 3-pin RGB. Independently of how you want to call it, if your motherboard doesn't have any RGB headers with only 3 pins on them, but your RGB hardware comes with a 3-pin plug, you might be interested in a converter like the Easy DIY. However, with such a converter you can't do any lightning effects that rely on more than one color at once. The analog 4-pin header on your motherboard simply is unable to put out the necessary information for this kind of effects. A converter can't change anything about that. But the Easy DIY still has a trick up its sleeve. It has a built-in RGB controller, which can do these addressable RGB effects. This is what the two buttons are for. Pressing the M-labeled button will cycle through the available effects and colors, while the button below will change the speed. This built-in controller certainly is a nice gimmick, but the variety of effects is small. Also, the navigation through those effects with only two buttons is cumbersome. Additionally, the device will likely be built into the back of a case and therefore not easily be reachable. EasyDIY kind of thought about this and built in a header to connect your case's reset switch to. With this workaround, the case's reset button can be used to cycle through the different modes. But getting a dedicated ARGB controller instead that comes with a remote control or an internal USB connection and likely more effects to choose from would make much more sense in my opinion. That is, if you can't go without multicolor effects. Otherwise, using this as a converter is the way to go. So let's concentrate on using the EasyDIY as a converter and see how it can be connected and installed. Just like the Deepcool device, the EasyDIY converter needs SATA power. There's a breakout cable included, one end of which connects to your power supply. The other end is the analog RGB plug, which connects to the 4-pin header on your motherboard. This is where the converter will get the RGB signal from. They also included this little cable that can be used as an extension to connect to a 12V GRBW header that can be found on some Gigabyte motherboards. This is necessary as the additional pin of those headers would otherwise collide with the 4-pin plug. The ARGB header is located on the bottom of the device. This is where your ARGB hardware will be connected to. Nice to see EasyDIY already included a 3-way splitter in the box. This splitter cable as well as the original header follow a 5V data and ground pinout that is the common standard for ASUS, MSI and ASRock compatible ARGB hardware. Note that you will need an adapter if your ARGB hardware comes with Gigabyte's old plug with a GDV pinout or with a Deepcool ARGB plug. Anyways, once connected the converter can be placed somewhere in the case, though the included cables are very short. Therefore, possible mounting locations will be limited unless you get a 12V GRB extension cable. Unfortunately, EasyDIY didn't put a magnet under the converter, so you may need to get creative to attach this to your case. The Deepcool device has such magnet installed, so it easily snaps into place. As I have both the EasyDIY and the Deepcool converter installed, we easily can compare them head to head. The left fan is connected to the EasyDIY converter, while the right one is driven by the Deepcool competitor. Red, green and blue look basically the same with both converters. 
breathing effects do generally work as well, though the easy DIY seems to be trailing behind the LEDs on the I.O. shield and the deep cool converter. This becomes particularly apparent with abrupt color changes. The easy DIY is slower what causes problems like mismatched colors with some color changing effects. Flickering effects are way too fast for the easy DIY and therefore generally don't work. But honestly, does anyone actually like flickering effects? When it comes to color accuracy, the easy DIY again trails behind. Especially orange tones are not as accurate as with the deepco converter on the right and they don't match the motherboard's I.O. LEDs. The deepco device doesn't perfectly match the motherboard either, but generally requires less tinkering to get the colors matching. So the deepco converter is more accurate. It also comes with longer cables and has an integrated magnet, therefore installing is more convenient. As the deepco converter already supports three different ARGB headers, you likely won't need any adapters. Two additional analog RGB components can be connected as well. Now the EasyDIY on the other hand comes with an integrated ARGB controller. Albeit lacking the connection variety of the Deepcool, EasyDIY included a three-way splitter to connect three ARGB devices that follow the 5V data ground pinout, which is unarguably the most common standard. It also comes with the little extension cable for 12V GRBW headers that can be found on some Gigabyte motherboards. With the Deepcool converter you would need to get those cables separately if you need them. Overall, I think the Deepcool device is the slightly better buy, due to the better conversion accuracy and easier installation. If the Deepcool converter isn't available, it's actually out of stock quite often, you'll probably be fine getting the EasyDIY converter instead. In case you haven't watched it already, I've linked the full review of the Deepcool converter in the description below. Consider to subscribe and thanks for watching.